I've also made these little ends at the uh, at the rear side. It's not mentioned in the um, in the uh, manual, but I think it looks nice and to prevent uh, to get this corner uh, damaged, um, I will install this um, gunwale, rear gunwale as well. I rounded the corner, made it uh, as even thick as the as the the gunwale and uh, let it end the same length as the uh, the knee so and after installing i can round these edge with the uh, thick and epoxy as well okay i'm about to make the uh, support blocks of the mast the at the bottom side um, i've made them from um, okime plywood um, 80 millimeters that I've got from the seat. I've ordered a bit longer of um, uh, a wooden plate of Okame uh, 80 millimeters. Um, I want to have the seat in Okame wood uh, because I think you cannot protect it as well. Um, you throw it away or you will damage it and um, the water comes in and then um, uh, the, uh, the seat will um, suck in the water if it's from norm, normal uh, normal wood so I think the Okame is the best wood for the seat um, but okay um, these blocks are probably the most difficult blocks to make and that I like to show you how, how I want to make them okay um, I want to show you how I think I can make these blocks um, I've made them, uh, like I said before, uh, I've made them from two pieces of 18 millimeters Okame plywood. Um, the drawing from BNB says that you are able to make them from three pieces for the for the top side and three pieces of six millimeter plywood for the bottom side, and maybe add some uh, two pieces of plywood again at the bottom. Um, because three times six millimeters is 18 millimeters um, I think okay I can take um, 18 millimeters of, of uh, Okame plywood and make them uh, at once so I will try that the um, most difficult part of the of the blocks are to make them in shape of the uh, of the hull um, to fit that on the hull and uh, still be uh, leveled and of course the mast must be uh, straight uh, plumb as well. Um, the drawing of BNB um, has a, um, um, a folding drawing, um, an example that I redraw on a, p a piece of paper because I do not want to damage the drawing from uh, BNB. So I redraw the the paper and um, it should go like this uh, you put all the six layers uh, sorry um, yeah six layers three plus three six layers uh, on top of each other and then you can take the um, the, the folding paper oh sorry the folding paper and uh, put it on like this and draw the line where it's supposed to be and it roughly uh, may fit the um, the blocks on the on the bottom of the uh, of the hole. Um, the problem is that if we draw the lines from the paper, this uh, we have to uh, plane away. And I've drawn these lines, and this complete part from here to there must be uh, planed away. So it is deep in here and it runs more um, 
to the top uh, at the end. Um, it says in the drawings uh, or in the manual says that it may roughly because of the uh, of the epoxy we can fill everything with the epoxy so there's no uh, no harm done. Um, but then again, it is still hard to uh, to plane all these um, these angles uh, in the correct way. But um, let's try. Um, I've did not I did not glue all the pieces together. Um, I will try uh, first to to create the bottom piece and fit it in the hull. And if I mess up, uh, I don't have to um, to make a complete block again. Um, if it's glued together, then I can throw away all uh, the both of pieces. So let's try the bottom piece first, and then um, if it's uh, if it's okay and it fits, then we will glue the uh, the top side and. Uh, playing that uh, as well. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is um, um, how it looks like after a bit of uh, planing. Um, it's not very nice, but roughly the shape that it's uh, supposed to have. Um, let's try it and see if it fits. Well, it takes over the shape, so it does fit actually pretty nice. Um, it's not leveled, so it needs to be a bit down at the front. So I will take away here and on the edges and slowly taking off uh, piece by piece a little bit of wood and see it uh, fit correctly. But it's, uh, it's a good beginning, I think. that it's um, uh, laying on the edges, uh, on these edges, not at the, the bottom here anymore, but more on the edges. So I will take these uh, edges away and uh, fit again. So I think I have to, because on here, on this edge, there's no space. Um, um, here I have some some space, and it's laying on this edge, uh, on the other side, like this. So I need to take away a little bit more of these both sides to get it in. But I can see it's it's changing um, before. The two adjustments it was laying like this, and now it's more leveled. Let's go and take the edges away. Okay, um, the plate is um, fitting quite well. This is what it's um, become after a bit of uh, planing and milling, or how do you call it? It took some time, but eventually it is um, leveled, and um, now I can 
make the um, the top plate to fit as well. Here it has to take uh, take some away. Um, first, I will uh, glue uh, the parts together, and I'm not sure what to do with the uh, with the mast. Um, I was planning to make to mill a um, aluminium ring inside of the uh, of the wooden hole because every time you stick the uh, the mast in the wood will uh, will damage or yeah the the paint uh, will come off so if the top ring or the top hole and the bottom hole has a, an, an aluminium ring uh, it's light uh, easy and uh, you will not damage the um, the, the, wood, the wood at all so um, I think I will deepen this this hole and make a small hole inside to um, let the water stream out because this will be um, uh, an area will th that will uh, catch some water and it needs to come out so I think I will put a hole in here and let it out uh, down here but it's um, it's going well